Hey everybody, this is Ori from AstroWeb, and this is a beginner's tip for analytics. Um, basically, uh, when you log into your analytics, um, in the main reports, if you go anywhere on your left-hand column, um, you'll basically be able to see uh, certain data. Um, so for example, if I want to see um, all of my traffic sources, so I'll, I'll see this main data, um, and I basically have right now by default, anytime you click on the left, you'll have one column, which is the main uh, data point, okay? And then you'll see all of the rest of the data. So um, what people, what, what you can do obviously is add a second dimension right here. So if I wanna see maybe, uh, let's say just Google organic information, and then I wanna dr drill down in a second column by Let's say, let's see here, by let's say an event, an event tracking, a specific event itself, okay? So I can kind of drill it down. So now I have uh, all of the Google organic and then the actual action itself or any of the second column I select. Um, so what uh, beginners in analytics uh, typically um, do is use these two, um, but it's really important uh, sometimes to have more than just two specific columns, two specific uh, dimensions to filter. And so uh, by default in the analytics in the main section here, you only have two, up to two. Um, so what you can do if you need more than that, for example, maybe you want to uh, look at uh, a specific browser and a specific medium and a specific landing page and, and many more. So three or more uh, specific common uh, elements if you want to kind of drill down. Uh, what you're going to do basically is go to the section that you want to actually look at and you're going to go to the top and you're going to add segments. Okay. Um, so if you add a segment, you can kind of add without adding, you're still going to have that one or two column here, but you're going to be able to filter or segment by um, some more information. So you can kind of see it as more than two columns here by more than that, uh, even though you won't see them there, but you can define it. So uh, let's click on a segment and let's say I want to add a new segment and I want to um, filter it even more, segment even more by let's say language, which if you start typing in, it'll give you an autofill of course. Um, let's say, uh, and I want to filter also by um, a specific browser, let's say Chrome. Okay, so now um, basically what we did is we added kind of like two more columns. So one is Chrome or one is a segment of Chrome users that also speak Chinese traditional in this case or, you know, US English. Um, and so if I do that, I'm going to click on the test button and see if it actually makes sense what I did. If they're actually users in the past that fulfill uh, these requirements and there are and I can just click on save here. Sorry. I needed to add a name. So um, Chinese Speakers in okay, Chrome, okay, and I'm gonna click on save And now at the top you can see that my filter basically filters 50% of the total traffic right here so I'm seeing only the Chinese speakers in Chrome. And if I go down, now I have the Chinese speakers using Chrome that came from Google Organic that triggered these events. So now you can really filter more and more and you can add more and more things. So it's really, really a great tool. Um, and it's a good tip for beginners to add onto these maximum two columns or two uh, dimensions. Um, that's the idea. So hope this makes sense. Thanks.